Hey guys, it's Allie Lambert from ReadyFit.com. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about something that I've been getting a lot of questions about both on YouTube and on Instagram. And it's something that I really wanted to address regarding not getting the results that you desire in your health and fitness. One of the first conversations that I have with my clients and participants in my classes is what you're eating and the way that you're moving your body is such a small portion of your results. Now, I, I know that that's probably going to surprise you, especially hearing that from a personal trainer and someone who really believes in nourishing your body with good food. But I know firsthand that this is so true because I know that if what we are telling ourselves in our minds is negative and we're constantly questioning whether we can do something, we deserve something, that we're capable of it, if there's that constant doubt and that constant battle in our minds, then the true result that we're looking for is actually never going to happen. And one of the beautiful things is that we can change that in an instant. We get to decide how we want to shift our thoughts. And I know that this takes practice and I know none of us are perfect and I still have a lot of days where certain thoughts come up in my mind and I try to do my best to choose to shift that thought to something empowering and positive. So what I wanna challenge you to do is think about a specific area in your health and fitness that you are unhappy with. Maybe you're eating all the right foods and you're still feeling bloated and like you're not getting the results that you want. Or maybe you're being really consistent with your workouts and you're just really confused as to why the results are not coming. Well, what I want you to do is sort of backtrack and think about what are the thoughts that are often coming up in your mind. When you're approaching your workouts or your nutrition, are you coming from a place of negativity? Are you questioning uh, constantly what you're doing? Because if you are, then you're already sort of setting yourself up for failure because um, where our energy flows is um, where our attention goes. So if we're constantly telling ourselves that, you know, we're not worthy of eating healthy or we're not worthy of getting results, or we're just not good enough, you know, I know that self-worth is something that every single female at some level or another struggles with. And I get it, I'm, I'm right there with you. But again, the coolest part is with just this split second shift, we can make the decision to change that. And so I want you to know that if something that you desire is not happening, that it's okay and that there is actually an easier solution. You don't have to go out and change everything about what you're doing. You probably just need to start thinking more about what's happening upstairs and align that with what's happening in the gym, with the food that you're putting in your body, et cetera, et cetera. So here's one of my favorite mantras, and this is from the book, The Universe Has Your Back by Gabby Bernstein. And she talks about, you know, what are the love-based empowering stories that we are telling ourselves? And this is something that I have been doing for years. And I've realized that it's probably one of the reasons why I love fitness so much. And I love helping you find a place that you feel joy when you're in the gym or you're working out at home. And that is that, you know, when I approach a workout, first of all, I'm excited. I know that that is my time to really train my mind for everything else that's going to happen in my day. I am a big proponent in my group fitness classes. I often coach this way that if we can achieve hard things and we can show ourselves that you know, we can make it through the end of an interval, that we can make it through a really tough workout, then those that's just preparing us for all the things that we're gonna face in our lives outside of that box. And that's a beautiful thing because if we can tap into that, then it becomes a lot easier to approach other areas of our lives. And so the empowering thoughts that I say you know, before I'm going to the gym is I'm so excited. Um, I have a really positive energy about it. I know that I'm going to be challenged and I'm excited for that. This is something that I ask people a lot is, you know, what is your intention? What's your intention behind 
the workout that you're doing. You know, it could be as simple as, you know, I'm just so grateful to be here. I needed this time. Maybe you have kids. Maybe you just have a really busy schedule. So maybe your intention for that workout is just that you are so grateful to be there and get to move your body. Maybe your intention is that you want to work on getting stronger and so you're gonna really be focusing on you know, empowering yourself when it starts to get tough to remember that you're capable of doing hard things and that you can push through when the going gets tough. Intentions are huge and they really shifted the game for me and a lot of my participants on how they approach their workouts, how they feel successful, and ultimately shifting those thoughts even when they're happening during the workout. It's so, so important to train our mind because if we can create that positive space, you know, within the gym or when we're working out at home or even if we're just on a walk or whatever you're doing that's active, it's so, so cool to see that translate to other areas of your life. And I know 1000% that this works. I have seen it with myself time and time again and I have seen it with my clients. So um, I would love to hear from you because I know that so many of us, you know, lack the support or we don't have a, a person that we can talk to about, hey, these are the thoughts that are coming up and I'm not really sure how to shift them. So I wanna give you that safe space. If you feel comfortable, you can leave them in the comments below and talk to me about you know, some of the stories that you're telling yourself. Or if you tend to sell yourself really positive stories, I would love to hear those and I would love to see you all interact and encourage one another. If you do want to send me a personal message and get some help with that, you can head over to my Instagram at Ali Lampert. I will put the link here below this video and you can shoot me a DM and just let me know and I would be happy to help you. I just want you to remember that whatever you desire, whatever result that you are capable, that you are determined, and that you are stronger than you think, and above all else, you are worthy of whatever that thing is. And I want you to let that sink in because I know that sometimes it can be really difficult to believe that at our core and that's okay that's why we practice with these empowering stories and with setting intentions for our workout so i'm so glad that you took time to watch this video today i hope that it spoke to you if it did please let me know in the comments below if it helped in any way please hit the like button because it helps more people see my channel and make sure to subscribe so that you never miss a video as i post new ones every tuesday and friday Thanks so much for watching.